Question number 12, we have this diagram here. Uh, the diagram shows the circle P with center uh, 0 2. This center is a 0 2 here, this circle P. Let us say the center is here, uh, which is uh, uh, 0 and 2. Okay. And the radius is 10. So, radius if I join this line, so this is radius, this is 10. Okay. And the tangent to the circle, so we are done with this center and radius 10 and tangent to the circle at point A, this point here, this is the tangent uh, with the coordinates 6 and 10. So, coordinates of A are 6 and 10. Okay. Uh, it also shows uh, a second circle Q with the, the point where tangent meets y axis with radius 5 square root 2. There, there is another uh, circle here Q. right? So, let us go one by one, uh, then we will see the information whatever is required. So, first one write down the equation of circle P. Uh, so, this is circle P, we have the center and we have the radius. So, as you know the equation of the circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Now, our a is 0 and our b is 2 squared r squared is 10 squared. So, from here the equation of the circle is x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals to 100. Right? So, this is the equation of the circle that is our answer. Now, find the equation of the tangent at P, uh, uh, tangent of circle P at A. So, we are looking for the equation of this tangent now. So, for that we need to have the gradient. So, if this is center uh, C and this is now center C and we are looking for this one here, uh, the gradient of uh, this uh, line, we can have the gradient of this line. Right. So, the gradient of line, so the grade, uh, where is it, here the gradient, okay, we can find out gradient of uh, uh, the, uh, what point I wrote, C P, C A, sorry, C A. This is going to be y 2, which is 10 minus 2, y 2 minus y 1 over x 2 minus x 1. Uh, this is 8 over 6, which is 4 over 3. Right. Now, gradient of the tangent, gradient of tangent. So, now what we have done? We have found the gradient of this line here perpendicular and then uh, because the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. So, the gradient of this uh, tangent now uh, is equal to negative 3 over 4 as you know that m 1 times m 2 on the perpendicular is going to be negative 1. right? So, we got this gradient. Uh, so, then the equation of tangent, equation of the tangent is going to be uh, y minus y 1, we have the point of contact here 10 uh, negative 3 over 4 into x minus 6. So, then y is equal to negative 3 over 4 x minus uh, this minus and minus becomes plus 3 over 4 times 6 plus 10 right so then this is y is equal to negative 3 over 4 x plus this when you simplify it comes out to be 29 over 2 so this is the equation of the thing okay now part c find the equation of the circle q and hence verify there are two parts now you see equation of the circle q and hence verify the y coordinates of both point of intersection of circle are 11 we need to see that point of intersection is 11 so yeah this is a bit complicated so let's see um, find the equation of the circle q uh, so equation of the circle q if you see this is q right so equation of the circle we are looking for here. So, uh, for that uh, we need to have the equation of the tangent at point A. So, equation of tangent we do have uh, at x if we take x 0. Okay. So, we have this point of contact right. This here we have 
y is 0 at this point y is 0 at this point so we can find out this point from this tangent yeah we got it now uh, so now what we are going to do equation of tangent at a we have equation of tangent at point a is um, uh, let me write down here y equals to negative 3 over 4 x plus 29 over 2 we have done in the previous part right now let uh, say x is equal to 0 at y axis where i just show you at y axis so then this will become uh, when x is 0 so then we are going to get y is equal to 29 over 2 right uh, so therefore uh, circle so center of circle q will be 0 and 29 over 2 so that means we got here the center is uh, sorry guys i wrote here so this was actually sorry 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 this y coordinate x coordinate is 0 and we got y this is a 0 and 29 over 2 so we got the center now once we got the center we can find out the equation of the uh, circle now so therefore the equation of circle q is x minus 0 squared plus y minus 29 over 2 squared and radius we are already given in the first part which is 5 square root 5 over 2 and square if you see here we are given this uh, is the radius of uh, q here with the second circle q right so now we are just going to uh, rewrite this one this will be x squared plus uh, y minus 29 over 2 squared will be this is 125 over 4 so this is the answer of the first part okay now the second one uh, to find out the y coordinates to find out the y coordinate uh, we will take the uh, point of intersection of circle p and q so point of intersection if you see let me show you with some other color uh, point of intersection here is uh, this one and this one here right so we are looking for this one now uh, so for that uh, we are going to take the equations let me take uh, the equations of both circles now equation of both circle one circle is x squared that we found in previous parts is 100 and the other one is x squared plus y minus 29 over 2 squared equals to 125 over 4 so let's subtract these two when we subtract these two equations so we are going to get here y minus 2 squared minus y minus 29 over 2 squared equals to 100 minus 125 over 4 right so now when you subtract this let's simplify expand these brackets this is going to be y squared plus minus 4y plus 4 then minus this is in bracket uh, this is y squared minus 29 y uh, plus 841 over 4 equals to this is uh, when you simplify this comes out to be uh, 275 over 4 right then uh, we will again uh, open the bracket plus 4 minus y squared plus 29y minus 841 over 4 equals to 275 over 4 right so now uh, when you simplify this y square and y square is gone so 29 minus 4 it will be 25y minus 825 uh, no we can shift it on other side 275 over 4 minus 825 when you simplify this and these two this becomes 825 
so plus 825 over 4 so 25 y is equal to 1100 over 4 that gives us uh, the value of y so from here uh, let me rewrite here y is equal to 1100 over 4 times 25 so y from here it comes 11 so hence it is verified that the point of uh, intersection of the circle is 11 right now part d uh, this is the last uh, question of this paper so find the coordinates of, of the point of intersection of the tangent and circle q point of intersection of the tangent so the tangent equation we had um, equation of the tangent was 3 over 4 x plus 29 over 2 right this is tangent and the equation of the circle circle q uh, it is uh, uh, x squared plus y minus 29 over 2 squared equals to 125 over 4 now we are looking the point of intersection so we will merge the value so i am going to put a value of y from here into the second equation so then the second equation becomes x squared plus y mm, yeah, no y y is now negative 3 over 4 x plus 29 over 2 and this 29 over 2 is already there so squared equals to 125 over 4 right so then this uh, 29 and 29 is gone so we have x squared plus 3 over 4 the square is 9 over 16 x squared equals to 125 over 4 so from here our uh, this and 16 16 plus 9 it will become 25 x squared 25 over 16 x squared equals to 125 over 4 okay so x is going to be x squared is going to be 125 over 4 times 16 over 25 so then this is 4 times 4 25 times 5 so x is plus minus square root of 20 so that is x is equal to plus minus 2 square root 5 so this is our value of x now the question is uh, find the coordinates and give your answer in third form so we are not going to substitute the value of square root uh, 2 5 uh, uh, square root of 5 so now we will uh, uh, finally find out the points so when x is 2 square root 5 and when x is negative 2 root 5 so again we will have two sections for the question from here so then what will be y y is going to be negative 3 over 4 into 2 square root 5 plus 29 over 5 uh, 29 over 2 sorry so then this is negative 3 root 5 over 2 plus 29 over 2 so this is uh, this comes out to be 29 if you combine 3 root 5 over 2 so what will be the points the point coordinate becomes here uh, x coordinate is 2 root 5 and y coordinate is 20 minus 3 root 5 over 2 right similarly here when you put this uh, the value of uh, x as negative 2 we are going to get y as 29 plus 3 root 5 over 2 the only difference is here in the middle so then this coordinate is negative 2 square root 5 and 29 plus 3 root 5 over 2 so these two points are our final answer here right so that's it this for for this paper i hope you guys understood everything i will eagerly wait for your comments in the comment section and thank you so much guys kindly subscribe to the channel if you are getting benefit from my videos be blessed guys see you in the next video